Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Seldan and I am ex-senior AI ML engineer at Apple and Microsoft. Today I would like to introduce my new free end-to-end -end course of AI engineering uh, where I'm planning to share my all the knowledge that I gathered for the last 10 years working at small startups to the big tech companies. In this course, I planning to share uh, many like the knowledge separated into the models. The first model could be uh, all the concepts of engineering, what does it mean of engineering thinking and the basics of programming, how to program it and the learning Python, uh, all the libraries and also tools that you need to use for data analytics, data science and the machine learning. And the next we'll go ahead with the software engineering. Software engineering tool that you need to know for AI email engineers. Why? Because uh, in the nowadays the concepts uh, it shows that you need to know all the basics of understanding how the applications create and what is the object-oriented design behind it and the object-oriented programming, some databases, what is the indexes and uh, what is like SQL, NoSQL databases. And uh, we should control all the, our like updates vi uh, via version control of the Git. And the next, we'll consider the machine learning. In the machine learning section, uh, we'll understand all the basics and the, some advanced topics as well. And this understanding like of supervised and supervised with the feature engineering of the encoding ensemble of the boosting, all the necessary information that you are understanding and uh, uh, deeply uh, understand like how, does, how to use them, where to use them and why this machine learning works better than another. Next, we'll have deep learning, the basics of deep learning, understanding of neurons, understanding of the neural networks, understanding of the deep neural networks, some RNN, CNN, uh, of the activation function, how to use them, and uh, what is the truly behind of the nowadays AI technologies. And uh, it's also good to understand sometimes really great to use machine learning classical, then deep learning and the why, and all these like pros and cons of each concept. And the next, I think the last one, it could be about statistics and the A-B tests. And uh, this is the really, really close to the uh, nowadays, the production technologies. To understand like for example you are have to create the new machine learning algorithm that predicts something and uh, you have 90 something percent of uh, maybe accuracy and you think that in the real world production it works the same but unfortunately it doesn't why because you need to understand like what is the data and uh, what is the user behaves and the, how the data shifts how the user experience shifts and uh, all these trends, all the like hypotheses could be covered in the A-B test. And by statistics, you could test and also understand like, oh, okay, what is this, the data influence and uh, how does it use them? And the statistics, like understanding of the averages, meaning oh, it helps, it helps you a lot. And uh, in the end, maybe it could be some topics of the interview passing uh, for AI ML, data science, data engineers. Uh, but also you can use easily like um, AI technologies just to check your background and that's all. Um, yeah, it's my first time to broadcasting uh, through YouTube, through somewhere. And uh, I really appreciate for your uh, comments. If you are thinking that I missed some information or uh, not well explained, just leave your comments below. And uh, I'm really happy that you are uh, watching till the end. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for your subscribe and for your likes. I really appreciate for it. And uh, see you in the, my uh, free AI engineering course. Vamos.